Just like the International Space Station, NASA is planning on putting a space station around the moon called Gateway. But to test its unique elliptical orbit, we're first sending a microwave oven sized CubeSat called Capstone. It just weighs 55 pounds and it will test this unique orbit around the moon. In its six month long mission, it will help launch a new era of deep space exploration. And that's it, that's what Capstone is. You can turn off the video now. But seriously, hang around, there's so much to discuss about this orbit. Because you see, it's not like a normal orbit, like a small CubeSat flying in low Earth orbit, just going around the Earth. This is a unique situation and it required a unique design and a lot of considerations had to be made based on where this CubeSat was gonna be placed. So let's get straight into it. This orbit is a unique orbit and its location is at a balance point between the Earth and the Moon. The orbit is called Near Rectilinear Halo Orbit. That's a lot of words, but what does that mean? It means that the orbit is slightly elongated and it's got this unique position in space where it is at a perfect balance point between the Earth and the Moon and a future outpost like Gateway would only need very minimal energy to maintain its position in this orbit. Its location also means that this is a perfect staging area for future lunar missions or further deep space exploration missions to launch from Gateway. This orbit was chosen by NASA engineers after careful consideration. This included things like the access to and from Earth, both in terms of the time required and also the fuel needed, access to and from the lunar surface, fuel required to maintain the orbit, and also the communications with Earth. This communication is really important because unlike the International Space Station, this would be located around 400,000 kilometers from Earth, which is almost 1,000 times more than how far away the International Space Station is from Earth. So it was important to find an orbit that would allow for uninterrupted communication between whatever we place in this orbit and the Earth. And it was also important that it allow clear communication between people on the lunar surface and the gateway as well. So yes, the orbit has a weird shape but other elliptical and lunar orbits around the moon require capstone to be on the other side of the moon where it cannot communicate with the Earth or there are other orbits that while they maintain direct communication with the Earth they require a lot of fuel to maintain so this orbit had the perfect balance where it needed the minimum amount of fuel but it was also in constant communication with the Earth despite its elongated shape. This orbit will bring Capstone to within 1600 kilometers of the lunar surface at its nearest point towards one pole whereas it would be about 70,000 kilometers away at its peak away from the lunar surface. And it requires less propulsion capability for any spacecraft flying to and from the moon. At the same time, every six and a half days or so, station keeping maneuvers will be performed to keep it going in its orbit. So a little bit of fuel would be burned to direct the spacecraft within this orbit. So it keeps following this path. So how is Capstone going to get to the moon from the Earth? The way it's going to get there is by using a unique method called a low energy transfer or a ballistic lunar transfer to reach the moon. See normally it takes about three days to get to the moon but Capstone will take over four months. And the reason why it's going to take so long to get there is because inserting a spacecraft into this near rectilinear halo orbit from a direct transfer would take about 400 to 500 meters per second of delta V whereas a low energy transfer reduces that to about 20 meters per second of delta V. This unique transfer is what makes capstone mission possible. Otherwise, it is very hard to insert a small spacecraft into an orbit like this because there's no way you could put that much fuel in in order to put it into this orbit or you just increase the size, which just isn't really an option. So right now you're thinking, okay, why go through all this trouble? thing is, it's one thing to say in theory that this orbit works, but to put something like the Gateway or the International Space Station's equivalent near the moon, you have to really test out all the intricacies of this orbit and like it's important to test it with a small cheap spacecraft so you can validate that what you had on paper is the actual behavior. 
because there are quirks to spacecraft that are in three directional orbits. All of the tools that we use specifically for Earth orbiting spacecraft don't necessarily work right out of the box. So it's important to be able to experiment with different navigation strategies just to get the data and understand how this orbit truly behaves. But that's not the only trick that Capstone has up its sleeve. See, in addition to testing out this orbit, it would also be testing out a new method of navigation for spacecraft that land on the lunar surface. See, this is going to be the first time that we will be able to do spacecraft to spacecraft radio communication without actually having it bypass through the Earth. This would speed up the communications and also it would allow spacecraft on the lunar surface to navigate how it does that is it's got a second radio and a payload computer that calculates where capstone is at any point in its orbit to help with this calculation it will use lunar reconnaissance orbiter that's been in orbit around the moon since 2009 as you can imagine developing a CubeSat for the lunar orbit is very different from developing it for the orbit on earth because the radios and the space environment are different from a navigation point of view you get your location off the small CubeSat you've put in the low Earth orbit just by using GPS most of the time. But out on the moon things are different. So you need different radios that can then talk to the Earth from that far away. In addition, radios for small CubeSats that are in the low Earth orbit tend to have very high data download rates. And the reason for that is because sometimes the CubeSat might only be in view of the ground station for a very few minutes. Whereas on moon that isn't a problem. So now instead of designing a radio for a very high data download rate, you change the specifications and you can design the radio with a different transmission strategy in mind. So equipped with radios like this, it will communicate with the LRO and based on the LRO's position, it will then determine its own position in space. And that is where the CAPS part of the capstone mission comes in. See, Cislunar Autonomous Positioning System is what CAP stands for and if successful this software will then allow the capstone CubeSat to allow future aircraft to determine their location without even communicating with the earth and this is really crucial because in the future we might be sending out thousands of satellites a day or thousands of missions a day and at that point it would be really valuable to be able to prioritize communication from the ground stations to any given spacecraft so this autonomous navigation would allow a lot more deep space exploration. And in that way, this is a really unique mission that's not just limited to the moon. It would take us far beyond where we can even imagine ourselves to be right now. Anyway, are you guys excited about this mission? Let me know in the comments below. Always keen to hear from you. Catch you guys next time.